forward to meeting you, Mr. Echo. For the past three years, time has tested us with a struggle between justice and despair. While our scars still haven't fully healed, we have succeeded in reinvigorating our national pride and the people's trust in the United Nations. And for this, we can thank the commendable work of United Nations agents all over the world. They've helped the world with their humanitarian work in nuclear-ridden zones. They've brought hope to the people when they've needed it the most. Their help in educating people on the effects of the new cures has been vital for our cause. Any population can be quickly turned against so-called revolutionaries simply by educating them about the UN's policies and goals. The world should know, Lana. It's been three years already. Must we always go through with this and these events? The world is not ready to discover that their fears were not fever-related hallucinations. I'd feel happier if we could explain the truth to them. Maybe they'd see the light in our cause. People in crisis need to look up to us as role models. We can only influence them through the essential intermediaries. We've certainly been through a lot, but you've been influenced by them for most of your adult life. Yet, I still wonder if this is why I was made for. If this is why I exist. <laughs>